Hi everyone, it's Aleem here. In this video, I'm going to walk through how to use the fill handle. What the fill handle allows us to do is to complete patterns in Excel. If, for example, we've got the word January here, I can put my mouse over the fill handle, and it shows up when you're on an active cell. It's the little square that you see at the bottom right over here. If I put my mouse over it, it changes into a plus sign, or the cursor changes into a plus sign, and now I can drag that down and you'll see it will populate the patterns, so in this case all the way to December. If I have Monday and I drag that down, it will give me the days of the week. The problem is you do need a pattern. So if I've just got the number one here and I drag that down, I'm only going to get the number one. Instead, what I could do is delete these. I could type a two over here and drag this down. And now I get my number series. Finally, if I've got 100 and 200 here and I drag that down, it will fill by 100 all the way up to wherever I stop. Now there are other ways to insert a series of numbers like this, and this is a quick aside, but I think it's quite useful. If I say equals row of A1, that's a formula here that's referring to the first row over here, and that will return 1, because A1 is in row 1. Now that formula allows me to drag it all the way down to wherever I want, and as far as I drag it, I will get a series of numbers from 1 till whenever, okay? So once again, that formula is equals row of A1, and then you just drag that as far as you want. Now, another way we could do this is using fill series. For that, what we're going to do is we're going to start by typing in a 1 over here. Click on Home. Go to our editing area, and you're going to see that we've got the fill button over here. And actually, when you mouse over this, it gives you a quick tooltip. It says, continue a series or pattern in neighboring cells in any direction. So here I can click on fill fill series, and I want this in a column. I don't want this to go all the way across. I want this to go up and down. I'd like linear growth here, and I want to start at one. And let's say we needed a thousand rows of data. It would be quite tedious to hold that fill handle and drag it down for a thousand rows. So if I start at one and I want a thousand rows of data, I can type in a thousand. We say okay. And now we can see that it's given us, and if I hold control and click down here, we can see that it's given us a full thousand rows of numbers. Control home to go right back to the top and we're done. Thanks for watching.